Hi, first grade. This lesson is for Foundations, Unit 4, Week 1, Day 2. Our learning goal today is I can spell and read first grade words with digraphs, bonus letters, and trick words. Let's warm up with our drill sounds. I'm going to say the letters, keyword, and the sound, and you are going to echo me. W H whistle woo. C H chin ch. S H ship sh. T H thumb th. C K sock k. Good job. Now we're going to review our short vowel sounds. Vowels make short and long vowel sounds. We are just going to practice the short sounds. I'm going to say the letter, keyword, and the sound, and you are going to echo me. A, apple, a. Ah. E, ed, e. Eh. I, itch, i. Eh. O, octopus, ah. Uh. U, up, a. Uh. The reason why I am reviewing the short vowel sounds this week is because we are going to be talking a lot about short vowel sounds. That's because we've been talking about using bonus letters. Remember, we use bonus letters after short vowel sounds, so it's important to review these sounds regularly and to understand that after short vowels, you will sometimes find bonus letters. Don't worry, we will talk more about that later. Now let's review some of our trick words. Try and read the trick words before I do. And, his, of, as, has, for, she, or, into, me, we. Now it's time to learn some new trick words. I'm going to read you a sentence. Can you help Bill? And I used a question mark there. Do you know why I used a question mark? Yes, that's because this is an asking sentence. It is asking a question. Can you help Bill? Someone is asking if you can help Bill. So I use a question mark at the end of my sentence. One more thing I want you to notice. Look at the B in Bill. Is that an uppercase or a lowercase b? Yeah, that is an uppercase b. Do you know why I used an uppercase b for the name Bill? Yes, because we always use an uppercase letter for names because they are proper nouns. They are very special words. And very special proper nouns like someone's name always begin with an uppercase letter. That's why your name always has an uppercase letter when you write it down. And of course, I started my sentence with an uppercase C. So I'm going to read the sentence again, but before I do that, I'm going to circle the trick word. All right, now I'm going to read it, and I want to see if you can read the trick word with me. Can you help Bill? Did you catch the trick word? Good job. The trick word here is you. We spell you Y-O-U. I think you are really smart. Now let's practice another trick word. Is this your dog? Do you notice this punctuation at the end of the sentence here? Yeah, I used the same one as the sentence before. That is called a question mark. I used a question mark because this is an asking sentence. It is asking a question. Is this your dog? That is the question. I also started with an uppercase letter. All right, now I'm going to circle the trick word and I will read the sentence again. I want to see if you can read the trick word with me. Is this your dog? Did you catch the trick word? Hope so. The trick word is your. 
Y O U R, your. It's the same as you, except we added an R at the end. So let's go over those trick words one more time. We have this one. Can you read it? Y O U. You. you, yes. You are so smart. And then Y O U R. Your. Good job. So notice that they are spelled the exact same way until you get to the very end. You can turn you into your simply by adding an R at the end of it. Always try your best. All right, so for now, the next activity, we are going to use our foundations dry erase boards. And we are going to practice writing some words with bonus letters. Remember, we learned all about bonus letters the past two days. We know the bonus letters are F, L, and S. And that's when they come at the beginning or the end of the word. Do you remember? Yeah, at the end of the word. So if you see a word that ends in F, L, or S, it's probably going to be a bonus letter but it also has to be after a short vowel sound. Remember, we talked about short vowels earlier. A, A, E, E, I, I, O, A, and U, O. So if it comes after a short vowel and it ends with an F, L, or S, it's probably going to have bonus letters. So we are going to spell three words today on our dry erase boards, and I will give you a hint right now. All of these words have bonus letters, so pay attention. Okay, the first word you are going to spell is fell. Echo it with me. Fell. F-E-L-L. Fell. Take a second and write the word fell on your dry erase board. Hit pause while you do that and then hit play when you're ready to see my answer. Okay, I hope you're ready to see my answer. Here is how you spell the word fell. F-E-L. What am I forgetting? <laughs> I couldn't trick you. We forgot a bonus letter there. Because it ends in L and it's after short vowel sound, we're going to have bonus letters. So there are two L's. This is a bonus one. I have a question, friends. Did you mark your words? Do you remember how to mark a bonus letter? You got it. We start at the top. And it's okay if you can't draw a star. You can always draw a snowflake. Okay, can, let's try the next one. The next word is toss. Toss me that ball. Toss. T -a -s toss. Hit pause while you spell the word toss and hit play when you're ready to see my answer. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you are ready to spell the word toss. T -a -s. What am I forgetting at the end? Yes, a bonus letter. Why is this a bonus letter? Why does this word need to have a bonus letter? Yeah, because it's after the short vowel sound, and the short vowel is aw, o, aw. And we know that any letter, any word, I'm sorry, that ends in F, L, or S, and it comes after short vowel, it's probably going to have a bonus letter. So we threw an extra S in there. Toss. Remember, when you're tapping out this word, we only give the SS one tap. Did you remember to mark your word? I hope so. Put a star on top of your bonus letters. Good job. Okay, this is our last word of the day, and I saved the trickiest word for last. Be careful. This word is shell. Sh-e-l. Shell. Hit pause while you spell the word shell, and hit play when you're ready to see my answer. Okay, first grade, here is how you spell the word Shell. Sh, sh. Do you remember which digraph goes sh, sh? Yeah, you got it. S-H, ship, sh. All right. Eh. 
Oh. <gasps> Wait, it comes after short vowel sound, and it is one of these bonus letters. So what else do I need at the end of this word? Yes, an extra bonus letter there. Sh, eh, ol, shell. Be sure to star your bonus letter, and also make sure you underline this digraph over here. Just like this. Good job, first grade. All right, one more thing before we go. I have a question for you. Where do you find bonus letters? At the beginning of a word or at the end of a word? Talk about it with a partner. I'll see you tomorrow.